sometimes these injuries leading to death are better than not leading to death. Uh, an example that captures that view uh, is a young person who was shot, sort of drive by a shooting, gun hit his back, and sort of hit his spinal cord yeah. high up. Uh, and we all know that spinal cord injuries almost always, particularly in this sort of high velocity impact, will lead to you know, paralysis. Um, and because it was high up, it, was, it also affected the breathing uh, uh, you know, mechanism. So this person was very dependent on uh, supports to breathe, mm -hmm. uh, can't move, can't do anything uh, for months on intensive care, and um, sadly, you know, succumbed to overwhelming infection many months later. So uh, it was, I mean, the, the few months he was kept alive, uh, a lot of the times you, know, you could see it in the face, how depressed, how sad, how sort of remorseful. It's about making young people into somebody, but somebody respectful. It doesn't matter whether that's a hairdresser, a plumber, an IT worker, a youth worker, but it's about appreciating those skills and building up on those skills and recognising them. So what I'd say is, do you have alternatives? This path may look good to you at the moment, but it's going to go nowhere. Let's look at what you can develop in a positive way and, and, and let's follow that through. I know that a lot of people who go into gun crime do it, you know, because it seems really the only way through uh, in their difficult circumstances. But there has got to be a better way. I'd say walk away. I'd say don't do it. It isn't worth it. You know, if you go down that path with a gun, you know, you may end up dead. Your friends may end up dead your life will be ruined. We want to support you. Uh, we don't want you to carry a gun. Look at the fact that the gun does not get you respect. It gets you nothing but trouble. It's not cool to have a gun and end up in jail and, and lose the rest of your life. And you can't appreciate that until you find out that the girl you are looking at becomes a girlfriend of someone else who's not in jail. Yes, you've got that gun. And I know it's part of you know, your accessory that you need to walk with day to day, just like how you're drawing your pants. But really and truly, at the end of the day, right, are you going to have to take someone's life or are they going to take your life? Because when you walk with a gun, you've upped the stakes because people know who you are. They know you walk with a thing. And if you're walking it to protect your merchandise, do you want to live that as your life every day? That man's going to kick off your door because they know you've got your things in there. They're going to kick off your door with your parents in there. They're going to kick off your door with your sister or your brother or whoever in there. Or when you're walking the road, you have to be tooled up and wear a vest. Do you really want that life? And if he says yes, well, he knows right. maybe it's only a certain period of time he's going to live. The injuries that the victim may suffer may heal and they may survive, but they will survive with scar, both physical and psychological. But worse still, they frequently could lose their life. And it is a very, very, very sad way to lose a very young life. You're gonna, you're gonna have sleepless nights and then you're gonna think, well, I want to be safe, I have my older. Your older's not going to be there in your house with you to protect you. And, and what if your older gets stabbed Exactly, and killed, what are you going to do? Baby? You're going to either end up in prison, a lonely, tired old person, or you're going to be in the grave and your mother and your father and your brothers and your sisters are going to be crying over you. So don't pick up a gun. Shut down, locked away in the prison of myself to trial and was judged by the devil himself But I refuse to just back down and let this take over me Can't just throw it all away, this is my destiny Gotta keep fighting, writing, banging these hits out Show the whole world what double F is all about There's nothing that no one can remove me from this world I live in It's my heart that pumps it, and to the top I keep rising Surrounded by these freaks trying to get me Calling all the spirits out of the graves to come and haunt me The mind is too strong to penetrate, see they can't stop me Mentally and spiritually I long to be free from these two-faced witches and the evil army that follows me, believe me, like I'm a host for breed, constantly trying to imitate me, cause they can't beat me, might as well join me, but you're not invited to this private party, top of the agenda, vanish all my enemies, turn the spirits against me so that you would never be free, devil's advocate, I burn you with the heat, you see the fireball, turn your stomach bruised up, oozing out your offices, don't let your ego eat you up, I said don't let your ego eat you up.